Welcome to Space Race, everybody. I'm your host, Gromforks, and I'm hoping you're having a wonderful day. Now, we are playing Mars Horizon, and in previous episode we did an Orbital EVA first, and now we're gonna try and, and also launch. We have scheduled launch the commercial satellite, which I believe is the Marmaduke Complete section, and uh, we will be trying for the crude moon landing. I mean, there is benefits in those, but, and I'm thinking if we manage to pull off, I think active missions, yes. So we, we do want to do this now. All right, next month. Do we have a, an active mission slot? No, we don't. Okay. And our research is going towards the crude moon landing. We have some new requests on Earth. Orbital radio would be nice. Milestones. Commercial satellite. Okay, nobody is ready yet. And we're launching lunar radiation now. So, publicized one month. Will give us some science. Hopefully its maximum bonus has been cooking forever, occupying my valuable mission slot. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to launch it. I think it's going off the small launch pad. Yes, it is. Should be a rather simplistic mission. Constitution. Adequate conditions. Good enough in my book. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, it didn't blow up. Barely. One random command is lost from a module on the first turn of the first task. Well, could be worse. Algol enable. And look, 1995. That's kind of fun. So, uh, what do we have? If I auto resolve, completes the phase. Outstanding success, success 32. Yeah. Let's do it ourselves. Who cares? Lunar radiation. Four and one for the translunar injection. That means eight and two. So I'm guessing that one command will be unavailable. Let's see which one. We get two comms. And if I take another command, this will be... What do we need comms? We need comms to replenish these. So if I take... This two, I should in theory be able to hit this one, but I can't because that one is the one that's disabled due to payload failure. Okay, fair enough. That means I can actually hit this. Do I really want to hit this? Four comms, what do I need? I already have two comms. I'd rather hit the recharge, thank you very much. There you go. Okay, now... I want to be hitting that one. That basically satisfies a single mission requirement. And if I hit it once again, that leaves us at 7. And now we need to up... the... So if I spend two power, that practically gives us a requirement with two to spare. So I think that would be good enough in my book. And perfect, translunar ejection. Now we have to achieve lunar orbit. It's going to the moon. Sorry, this is not KSP. Moon. I keep forgetting that. Achieve lunar orbit. 4 and 4, which means 8 and 8. Okay, mission data. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not. Okay. So, we have additional navigation resource, which gives us the most. These two, obviously. So, if we do spend the nav, it's worth it. So, if I take you... 
then I hit U, I get three data, and then I exchange data for the two nav. And then I basically dance between the two of you, I guess. Oopsie, resist this. Oh, and we get an extra nav here, wonderful. So, I hit U, and then I hit, let's say, U twice. That makes sense to me, yes. And now we have to hit a little bit more harder data. And then we should do the comms and the comms. And that gives us to the bonus reward. However, I'd rather actually do this so I have something to resist with and do this on the next turn. Probably might not even need it, but yes, we do need it, see? And now on the last turn, all I need to do is hit this one and the requirement is met, which brings this to pretty much guaranteed win. With a 50% bonus reward, which is always nice to appreciate. There we go. And let remind myself, you're supposed to give us some extra science. That's nice. Bonus objective, always worth it. Okay, so you'll be giving us some extra science. And you have successfully milestones. Do we have an additional milestone? Commercial satellite. View plan. Completes in three months. One mission slot available, though. We could do animal in space. It would give us some science. Do we have anything better to do? Far side of the moon. Venus, anything of significance? Nope. Mars, nope. Well, might as well do the animal in space, why not? Let's plan the mission. Should be simple enough, I guess. Eden, yes, and pretty cheap, so... I see no reason why not to do it. Next month. Crude moon landing research complete, wonderful. Maneuvering evaluation, supplementary build time, the cost will go up. That's okay. Reuse design, Marmaduke. What? Launch reliability due to experimental fuel. Yeah, we'll need to tra train literally the shit out of it. Yeah, let's load the design. Contractor. You're make it cheaper for a support. No, now let's see. I want to actually up the launch reliability a bit. Yes, here. And we'll get less science due to it. Yeah, I don't care. Maneuvering evaluation. Do it. When it comes to research, let's do the Apollo. Is anybody else doing the... Sorry, not the space station, the moon. Crude moon landing. Nobody has yet the research. So if we go, we'll be first. Adjusted mission parts. Yeah, we have to also deep dive below. We'll need to go with Saturn V. That will be also a little bit more on the research. So what I'm researching, yeah, payload first. Makes sense. Wait, 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 what was that? Apollo, yeah. No, here, Earth. If, if I do the moon landing before Soviet Union, I get 50% vehicles research cost for three months. That's nice. So, yeah, multi crew orbit we did the second and this we did the second. Yeah, we'll do it. Next month. Eden complete. For the animal in space. 
20% build cost for level zero parts and 20 resource reliability. Yeah. This will have to be something cheap. Rio de design Marmaduke, Aleconium. Hell no. Let's do something simple. Upper stage. Jupiter. Level zero. Star 37. Delta, that's level five. Jupiter. And then booster should be what? Redstone would be ideal. Atlas? Jesus. What? Delta? You need a supplementary booster. You're kidding me. Now I really wish I researched that because this was stupid. Five months build time. Six months build time, actually. Sixty-four percent launch reliability. Can we upgrade reinforced tank walls? Yeah, sixty-nine percent. This is ridiculous, contractor. Red giant. This would go up. And it will increase our cost. I really don't care. Select contractor. Let's build it sooner rather than later. Why not? Earth. What do we have? What do you want for requests? Solar wind. Orbital radio. No lucrative missions yet. What? We have another one on Venus. Atmospheric sampling. That's a lot of science. Would be nice to go towards Apollo, but let's first complete the missions that we have ongoing. So, Marmaduke, no mission effect. Looks pretty good on the vehicle reliability. Training, I'm gonna go, it's 93 base payload. So we cannot actually put the science. Yeah, because it's a cash payout. Okay, then we do the payload, definitely. Launch date, what can we do? Three nine and we're still the first so i'm actually thinking on february that would up our payload reliability significantly and we have always march for a backup mission so i think that would be good orbital eva formidable that would be plus five percent payload reliability ain't that nice Training, I'm thinking actually, launch reliability, payload, base launch reliability would be nice. Launch date, yeah. Let's hope that that polar animal doesn't blow up on launch. Okay. Maneuvering evaluation. Optional and suboptimal windows are reversed. We want launch reliability hit it hard on this guy. So launch reliability means test pilots. Jan Russell, you're flying again, and Sherman Kerman, you're flying again. That gives us 10% additional launch reliability, which is horrendous still. Training. I want to train for launch reliability, and I'm gonna hopefully do it on maximum. So nine eighty three and here is seventy seven not actually that big of a difference so i'm thinking i'm actually going to go with april and then if it doesn't work i'm going to put it on june let's hope that will be good enough sorry Commercial satellite. This one should be good across the board, hopefully. And look, China already researched it. And Animal in Space is also ready to be launched, I guess. So I'm guessing we're launching Animal in Space first. Alright. 
formidable, yes. A very fat raw booster with a tiny capsule. And they call this formidable. All right. Now, all I need is for this Five, to get up four, there. Three, two, one. We have liftoff. Okay, I really hope. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Of course it had to be negative event battery damage. Alright. Never mind. Atlas and Jupiter, yes, whatever. Continue. It's a milestone mission, so achieve Earth orbit, one comms and three data. One comms, three data. Okie doke. So one comms, three data. Now I need two comms, three data, and pray that this actually doesn't crap all over me. There we go. Now I just need one more data and if I exchange this, this would satisfy the requirement with guaranteed. Thank you. And of course it had to crap all over me, but we're there. Woohoo. We put the animal in space. So at least we can check it off. Milestone achieve. There is some science to be had. That's, so that's nice. All right, it will contribute towards Apollos. However, we have more important things to do, like commercial satellite, ready to launch. And of course, it had to be the terrible weather. Well, this is gonna get rescheduled. Nobody is, they have the research, but they're nowhere near yet. So July, I guess. Not, oh, no, 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 wait, 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 launch date. No. We have March, which is already good enough. Sorry, I don't know how I missed it. Now, speaking of Earth, we have some additional requests, milestones, commercial satellite that's being planned. And I believe we have some, we had some Venus requests, experimental fuel will be pricey but it would give us a lot of science so I'm thinking I'm gonna go through with this let's just quickly check if there are more lucrative missions lurking around I'm hoping that they would be somewhere nope what about Mars requests no okay Venus it is atmospheric sampling Mariner, standard, what do we have? Options, communications, build cost, no. Mariner 1 or Mariner 8? Twenty-one, eighty-one. starting power 5. Yeah, you're going up sunshine. Animal testing debate. Several media are debating ethics of using live animals as test such as subjects in space flights, spurred by your recent animal in space mission. Some have labeled it animal cruelty, while others argue it would they would rather lose an animal than a human. Your agency have been asked for a response. Say that this is necessary or pledge to end animal missions. Whatever, I'm gaining support. We'll no longer be using the animals. I just needed to check it off anyway. So commercial satellite ready for launch. Let's do the launch preparations. Okay. Weather seems to be better than the last time at least. 
about time we check this guy off. Oh, thank you. That's nice. Five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off. Get up there, get up there. I was a little bit, you know, troubled by the angling of it, but seems to have gone pretty decent. Secure launch. Atlas 5, okay, and Agena, that's very nice of you. Thank you. So, commercial satellite, fin finally. So what do we have? Collect 10 nav to achieve orbit. 20 for the extra bonus so if i hit this and this this gives me four this gives me eight an additional recharge just gives me security i'm okay with that could you go a little bit more rng towards the right hand side of the things i mean i would really appreciate it to be honest now so i mean whatever i say this is still the most lucrative possible outcome so i'm thinking i should actually continue doing this yes and about time you crap me with some positive event thank you there we go last turn I think I do this, and that's pretty much a given. Oh, strong ones. Thank you. Deploy satellite systems, and we have drift involved. Okie doke. 4-4, four, four. that would be 8-8, eight, eight, I assume. Yes, and we have drift now. Alright, so... We need eight and eight. So what gives them us? This gives me four of these, and this gives three. So I do this, followed by this, followed by this. That puts us a little bit out of the comfort zone, but we need to complete it use it to complete the task anyway, so I think we're good here. So I do like this. This gives us four of these, then we can use this to up these, but we will need these to actually convert. Yeah, I think it this will work nicely. All right. Okay, so I, if I hit this guy to generate a lot of data modules. And I need, oh, no, wait. I need data and nav to actually boost this guy. And then I will use on the next turn just upping the comps. I think that will work fine. Okay, so now I use... This is the last turn, so now I have to be within the parameters. 6 and 4 and this is 8. Do I have this and this to actually... Yeah, this still puts us within range and we have power to boot, so I think this was pretty much a guaranteed win.
And there we go, a commercial satellite. And we're the first. Yes. I love being the first one. Oh yes, oh yes. Talk about Pele. Beautiful. That gave us a lot of cash. And now, do we have something to build at the base? Vehicle assembly building, I thought as much. Now, VAB, I think I should be placing you. Okay, here we are, have an adjacency bonus. Minus three vehicle build cost. I should probably store somewhere space for the large launch pad. I'm thinking this would be cheaper and the large launch pad could go down. However, if I place it here, what's the rotate button? Is it this? Yes, this is the rotate. Minus two payload build cost. So the only benefit is actually here. And it can be built on top of anything. So if I rotate it like... Which side the rocket goes out? I don't see the side on which the rocket goes out though. I think I'm gonna place it like this. Minus three vehicle build cost. Good enough for me. Then we'll have the large launch pad and the rest of the stuff. Okay, so... Payload component issue. Your engineers have discovered a manufacturing error in a key component of Mariner 1 payload for an upcoming atmospheric sampling mission. They estimate 10% reduction to the payload reliability, which is currently 71%, unless you commit funds. I'm gonna commit funds. Maneuvering evaluation. Let's launch the mission. It's experimental fuel, so forgive me if I'm a little bit itchy. But let's say a long, good launch day would really improve my... Come on, Marmaduke, make me proud. So what's the weather like? Okay, good. 4% it goes boom, let's hope it doesn't come to that. That we do. <sighs> Why do these missions crew model is unavailable on the first turn on the first task? <sighs> Interesting. I really don't know what's RNG's purpose. I'm purposely screwing. 885. Okay, achieve Earth orbit. 16, 16, 10. Yeah, and the crew is unavailable due to the rough launch. Nice. That almost forces me to go. So 16, 16, 10, which is the hardest one to get? 4, 3, 4. Data could be used for five, so I'm actually thinking of doing this, followed by this, and then I think this, I guess. That leaves me out of data. Yeah. And if I use these, I will be upping up the nav. Good. The, the reliability is crap, so I have to be a little bit careful. I had to say it, right? All right, so now I want to go like this. twice followed by this upping the nav significantly so that's nine eight and three 
with three to resist that's still do doable you would require to no you won't require to barely okay now i think i want to go hard on the i still think this is a good trade and if i go twice that puts us over the mark which is good because then i can actually use this to boost this guy and i need to be able to boost this guy and i hope oh that's nice experiments thank you data screwed me over so you will be doing a little bit less of this i can actually accept that and you give me an additional data anyway that's sweet all right so two turns remaining and i really should up I'm already okay on the data, so if I use this twice, I've met the objective on this, and then I have to go hit this guy, and then, have I used the crew? No, I haven't. Hold, hold the press. Let's use the crew first. So I actually use you to up the bombs, yes. Then I use once more data to up the comms. And then I use alone data to up the nav and the comms. And power to recharge, so yes. There we go. There we go. Oops. We resist it. And this is the last turn. So I only need to up this by three. So if I do this, that's pretty much guaranteed. But I will resist it. Thank you very much. Achieve Earth Orbit. Perform a controlled re entry. Okay, doke. That's the last section, I guess. So that would mean 18 and 22. So I need to keep below four. And I need to, and they will be adding between two and four on each turn. Okay. So. What's the hardest one to get? Data is a good exchange for comms, so if I hit harder on the nav would be nice. Okay, so comms and exchange for... Yeah, so let's do it like this. We hit this. Then we hit this once, yes. And then... What do we hit then? We hit you once and you once i think that should do it fine there we go i kind of expected that oh it puts us at the four heat which is okay i must say i'm not overly surprised then if i take this would give me four on the nav. That puts us down by two. That puts us down to zero, which is good. And then we need to hit hard on the arms here. And then I could, I could use additional recharge, yes. 
I still have to take into account that I have to resist sometimes. So, yeah, you will not take two comms, sorry. System check, we're at two. I still want to be hitting this guy hard, followed by... So what if I take this guy, I actually am splitting between comms and nav. Which is not bad per se, but... It is one resource, resource though. So... What am I using that I'm not spending? I could be getting more on the comms. Use this one. And I want to keep those two. Because I'm gonna get some heat next turn. But then again, I have three turns remaining, so... I should go harder on the comms, to be honest. Like this, perhaps? I'm slightly worried. You're gonna give me three rather than four. I'm gonna accept that, actually. There we go. There we go. System check heat. And you gave me four. I was hoping for that, actually. Because now I need to go for hard on the comms. So I'm going to use you, Sunshine. Followed by you. Followed by you again. That's already 14. 17. And then... I'm guessing this one plus four. Oh, that puts us on zero power. No, 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 that's not good. At least one. Yeah. See, I had to resist it. System check heat. Okay, now we're... Oh, we don't care about the heat this turn. Good. That means we can actually spend what we want. Now, I need... This. And I need that. Wait, 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 wait. So... I could use you to get to 18. Good. That means we have to only worry about getting over there. So this guy 17, 21 and 19, 23 with additional power spare. Hopefully that should be enough. Unless RNG decides to screw me over multiple times. I hope that won't happen. No, it won't. Beautiful. Whew. I don't think we need to see the animation. They were landed up safely. We got composite casing, support and science coming in. Wonderful. Jan Russell and Sh Sherman Kerman, you did your job nicely. Thank you very much for your contribution. Uh, we will have Apollo next uh, finishing soon and we'll get science trickling in at a very, very nice pace. But that will be happening in the next episode. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Like if you like the video and I'll see you all in the next one. This is Gromforks signing off.